Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. I am Roshan and in this video, you will see a python program to convert a decimal number to a octa value. This video is part of the conversion program series which we are doing for a few days. In my previous videos, we have seen how to convert decimal number into binary and hexadecimal where we calculated the remainder with custom logic. The same approach we will be doing here as well. There are many ways we can do this program. You can write your logic or use an inbuilt function or use recursion or many other ways. Like the earlier tutorial, I will keep the most straightforward logic so you can easily understand line by line. And later at the end, I will also show you using a built-in function. This tutorial will have two sections. First, we'll understand the logic in detail with mathematical representation and implement the code in the second section. You can directly watch the code section if you want to skip the detailed logic explanation. I always recommend understanding the logic to improve your problem solving skill and later use any built in function. You can also write the same code in many different ways. You can comment on your version of the code in the comment section. So the first question is what is the octal number system and how it is calculated. Let us understand the process first then we can implement using code. In mathematics, we have different representation of numbers like the decimal number system, octal, hexadecimal number system, etc. In decimal, we have a base of 10 that consists of 0 to 9. On the other hand, the octal number system has a base of 8. That means it will have a value from 0 to 7. Let's take an example. Let's say you have the number 355. Then how to convert this number into an octal value? Let me show you. The very first thing we need to do is divide the number by 8 to calculate the remainder. So I can write 355 and I need to divide with number 8. Why 8? Because the octal number system has a base of 8. So if I divide 355 with 8, it will give me a remainder as 3 and quotient as 44. I will divide it again and this will give us the quotient as 5 with remainder 4 and we need to divide until the num reaches 0. So I will have one more divide with 8, remainder will be 5 and the quotient will be 0. Now we have got all the remainders. To get the correct order of octal value, we need to reverse it. So this will look like 5, 4, 3. So octal value of 355 is 543. Now let's move to code. The very first thing we need is input from the user. So to get the input, we can use the python input method. So I can write decimal number equals to input and I can specify some message enter any positive integer value. For simplicity, I will take a positive integer value in this tutorial. The negative numbers have a slightly different logic that I may cover in a separate video in the future. By default, the input method value will be string. So we need to convert this input to the integer type. So I can write int method here. Now we have got the input. So our first step is completed. Next, let us write one function which will take one parameter and return us with the octal output. You can write logic without a function as well. But it is a good practice to create a function that does one task and return us with the output. So whenever we need output, we can simply call that function again and get the result. To create a function, I can write def and the function name. In this case, I can write def decimal to octal and it will have one parameter so I can write num here. Now we have our function but the most important thing is to implement the logic which we have seen before. Let's write that as well. So the first step is to calculate the remainder. To calculate the remainder of any given number we will use the modulus operation. So I can write num modulus 8. This will calculate the remainder. Now the remainder is calculated but we need to save that value in some variable. So I can write 
remainder equals to now we have got the remainder to convert any decimal number into a octal number we need to divide the given number by 8 until the num reaches 0 and store a remainder somewhere next we saw in the example that each remainder is the octal value and needs to be reversed to get the correct result to get the final octal output we need to save the output somewhere so we can reverse it after one way is to have a list and append each remainder value to that list and print that list in a reverse order another way is to have a string and append each remainder value as a character string and print that string in a reverse order to keep it simple i will go via the string approach but i have explained both approaches in my decimal to binary video if you want to know click on the top right corner so let's declare one string i can write octal value equals to and we'll set it to empty first coming back to remainders we'll append remainder output in a string so i can write octal value equals to octal value plus remainder but the remainder is integer here which needs to be converted into a string for append so i can write string of remainder if you don't want reverse approach you can rewrite this sentence like this this line appends the remainder value at the beginning so you can simply return the output without doing reverse i will go with the reverse approach so let me comment this now that we have saved the first remainder we need to divide the number by 8 to get the next quotient value we need to do a floor division to get the output using two forward slash so i can write num equals to num two forward slash 8 let me remove this line this entire process needs to be done for each value for that we need a loop here i will be using a while loop so i can write while num greater than 0 and let me move this code to the loop so our while condition is set this loop will continue till our num reaches 0 at the end of the loop will have octal output stored in a string so i can write return octal value as a last step we need to reverse the string to print the correct output as we have seen in our example the calculated octal value needs to be in reverse order to do that we just need python slice technique so i can write octal value colon colon minus 1 if you have used another line you don't require to reverse it now our function is ready you can further optimize or shorten the code by changing some logic here and there lastly we need to call this function with a parameter so i can write decimal to octal will pass our decimal number this function will return us with the output so i can write output equals to our function also let me print the output so i can write print octal value and i can write output here let me save and run it it is asking for a user input so i can type 355 and it should give us the octal output 543 so output is correct let's try with another example let's say i have 50 and 62 is the correct output now we understood how to convert decimal number to octal we also talked about some built-in methods in python we have a few first is oct method which converts the integer number into octal value first let me comment existing function code so i can comment this and simply call oct method and will pass decimal number and let me save the output so i can write output equals to the oct method returns the octal representation of an integer it will give you a type error for non integer value let me print the output so i can write octal and i can write output here output from the oct function will have two additional character at the beginning as prefix which represent that result is a octal value to have the correct output we can slice and remove the first two character and print the data 
so i can slice it i can write two colon so it will remove the first two character now let me save this and run it we'll use the same example 355 so output is correct you can also use the format method with option o to convert integers to octal that's it from this video if you enjoy this video please like comment and hit that subscribe button thanks for watching see you next time